Hey everyone, this is How To Dude, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a 2-in-1 LG washer and dryer. Now, most people have a regular washer and dryer, but this is for those who are considering buying a 2-in-1. Today, we're going to be going ahead and doing a load of towels. Alright, so for the first step here, I'm going to go ahead and open this door. And as you can see, the cylinder is not too big in this unit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start loading up the towels. I put about four towels in here. I want to say you could fit about five. Um, obviously you could fit more clothes and just go ahead and uh, close the door and you'll hear it lock Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and take our laundry detergent now people have a couple different preferences for this But I like to fill up to the fill line I know some like to go a little bit less a little bit more But as long as you're putting something in I believe the load will work All right, so for this next part you're gonna go ahead and take your liquid and you're gonna open up the left side drawer of the unit now, I'm not actually sure what that blue compartment is used for, but I do know the detergent goes in the left. So you're going to go ahead and just make sure everything is out of that little cap. And then you can go ahead and shut the door. Next, you're going to go ahead and press that power button. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this big chrome spinner right here. Now, I tend to put mine on speed wash always, um, but the preference is definitely up to you. Now, over here to the right, there's two different buttons. You're going to see wash temp and spin speed. So I always tend to use cold water for my wash temp and then spin speed. I like to put it on medium so that way the cylinder is not spinning too high and then just go ahead and press start. All right. So again, this next part is totally up to preference, but I like to use bounce pet sheets. Um, one for scent and two because my dog sheds a lot, so they do help. So I'm just going to go ahead and take one of these and throw it right into the dryer. And then same as before, just you're going to close that door until you hear a click. Next, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power button, and this part is very important. You don't want to touch the chrome tab because it will activate the washer setting. So as you can see, I'm over here to the dry tab, uh, the dry dial, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on 60 minutes. Now, there's a couple different spin speed options you could use, but I actually keep mine on nothing, so it will not spin, but it'll tilt back and forth. This ensures that it's in there for an hour even. All right, and then once that dryer beeps done, you're going to go ahead and power the unit off. You're going to hear a click. And you're going to open that door, and inside you will find some fresh towels. This has been How To Dude. We'll see you in the next one.